Hi everyone, Glenn from the Darren Lehman Cricket Academy here at beautiful and historic Unley Oval and welcome to the first episode of DLCA TV where over the coming weeks and months we'll take you behind the scenes with both the players, coaches and activities of the Darren Lehman Cricket Academy, show you a day in the life of the academy attendees, what they get up to on the training track, uh, at their clubs and also a bit of a look around Adelaide. Just recently we spoke to Shane Snader, who's a recent debutant with the Netherlands cricket team. Shane is in his second year of attendance at the Leadham Academy. Had a great chat with Shane about his experiences. Our very first guest on our very first episode is uh, Shane Snader. Shane, welcome to DLCA TV. Thanks for joining us, mate. Um, Shane is originally from Zimbabwe. Uh, Shane attended the academy last year, last Australian and summer. Um, and as his career career has sort of gone leaps and bounds in the last 12 months, been a pretty rapid rise for you. Um, tell, us, yeah. tell us what's happened to you in the last 12 months. Um, well basically I went over to uh, Holland and was uh, looking to get involved with the national side and that that went went well. I, uh, I made my debut for the Netherlands uh, against Afghanistan a couple of months ago. It was a great experience, the great, great, great lads there and yeah. yeah it was, um, <coughs> it was a, a exciting time for all of us at the Lehman Academy to have um, Shane go on and play international cricket. Uh, showed a lot of talent here last year. Shane bowls very quickly, uh, hits the ball pretty hard as well. So um, the last year you played uh, turf cricket at Payne, yeah. Adelaide Turf Competition. Uh, this year, where are you playing? Uh, I'm down at Glenelg this year, which is a very nice, lovely club. And it is, yeah, great club. Um, well coached by uh, Peter Muggleton, who is the Lehman Academy fast bowling coach. Um, the mugs down there. You've got George Hankins, who's an England under 19 international um, at Glenelg, who's also here with the Liam Academy. We'll talk to George in the, the weeks to come. Um, just from an academy point of view, what things do you think you did last year with Muggsy and, and all the coaches that, that made you a better cricket and made you able to take that next step with your career? That's a good question. <laughs> I'm good on the tough <laughs> questions. I mean, Muggsy's Mugs um, um, very good on, on technique, isn't he? Yeah, I think just working on the on the smaller things like obviously and I think the main thing was fitness and yep. I think with mugs he's always about the little things and just constantly asking questions about the batsman. Like when you're bowling asking questions of batsmen and I think just yeah. Yeah, Muggsy's um worked with you know some of the, the best fast bowlers going around, came back to Sean Tate and, and Jason Gillespie brought up to Chad Sayers now. So you know you've got great expertise there and Peter Muggleton, who is walking past us right now as we speak about him. <laughs> Hello, Peter. Um, now, the difference uh, when you come back this year, obviously, when you first come to the academy, it's all new. It's all, um, you know, everyone's a bit nervous when they first start. And so now you're uh, where are you? you're at Mega Courts and Windsor Gardens, a fantastic new indoor venue. Uh, have you noticed a, a change in the way you're approaching it now? Do you think that uh, you're better at analysing your own cricket? Uh, yeah, for sure. I think more specific as to I can come here knowing the coaches better and uh, sort of knowing what I want to achieve while I'm out here because I'm also just out here for a short period. So I think that helps a lot, knowing the coaches a lot better, which is the main thing. Whereas when you first get here, you're sort of settling in and getting to know the coaches. So I think um, the biggest surprise we got out of Shane playing international cricket in the Netherlands last year was not the fact that Shane played international cricket, we thought he'd be able to, but we didn't know he was from the Netherlands. This time last year, Shane was Zimbabwe and now he's Dutch, so you know, work that one out. Um, tell us a little bit about the Adelaide lifestyle and when you've been living here. If people are thinking about coming to the academy from overseas and other parts of Australia, what can they expect from Adelaide as a city? Uh, well, it's pretty small, but I think that's that's really good, but easy to get around and everyone's really friendly, which is really nice. And yep. Um, really laid back lifestyle, which is quite nice. And yeah, the weather's generally pretty good. Uh, it's been a little bit up and down this yeah, year, but generally this it's pretty good. Been, yeah, last year was really good, yeah. and then, um, but summer's starting to come through now, which is nice. And it's not too hot, but it can get hot. But it's generally pretty yeah. good weather. We um, we have uh, other uh, factors involved in the academy. It's not just about nets and stuff. Is it? We do, do fielding, obviously, and you've done um, a fair amount of fitness work with Sean Baker Correct. from yeah. Peak Training and uh, and Daniel Kirk as yeah. well. So how important is the fitness stuff though? Oh, I think it's oh, so important. I think taking your game to that next level, that fitness just helps that, that much that much more. I think just when you're out there in the field, it's just like you just don't think about the other things when you know your fitness is out there. 
Um, Bakes is obviously Bakes is great, and he's just yeah. Not, yeah. yeah, I'd highly recommend any, any athlete out there wanting to um, improve on their fitness, um, look up Sean Baker and Peak Conditioning, um, do a fantastic, fantastic job. Um, but what's next for you? I know that you're not staying for the full length of the academy this year, you're leaving around Christmas time. Uh, yeah, I'm, I don't know, we're waiting to hear about the selection for the website. There's a tour going to Dubai for a T20 tournament. So. Waiting to hear back for that, and then yeah, we'll see from there. Fingers crossed for that one, hey. And and just finally, again to just um, guys and girls out there looking to come to the academy, and we do have uh, female cricketers with us here, and have had in the past. Catherine Bryce, who played over here last year and attended the academy, is an international rookie for the Melbourne Renegades, I think. This year. maybe the Stars, I can't remember. One of the Melbourne Big Bash teams. Stars, sorry, the Melbourne Stars. So you know, we we um, are catered to uh, women's cricket and all ages of cricketers. Um, if people are thinking about coming and they're not exactly sure, you know, what they can get out of it, would you recommend coming over to the academy? So, just, yeah, just go for it and come along. I, it's honestly one of the best things I've done in my career. So. Fantastic. For sure, yeah. Thanks for joining us, Shane. Yes, uh, that's all from us today here at Mega Courts in Windsor Gardens with the D Darren Lehman Cricket Academy. Uh, look forward to seeing you next time. Check out these videos on Facebook and they will also be at dlca.com.au. Thanks for watching the first episode of DLCA TV. I'm off overseas for a couple of weeks, so our next episode will be hosted by two Academy members who are going to show you some of the uh, sights and sounds of Adelaide, take you to see some of the really good parts here and some of the great things to do. So until then, see you around.